Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. Welcome to Nevada Newsmakers on the broadcast today. George Harris joins us, the chairman of Nevadans for Sound Government, here for the whole show on an all new Nevada Newsmakers. Nevada Newsmakers Goes to Washington is brought to you by Pro Group Management, Workers' Comp that works for you. NV Energy. NV Energy proudly serves Nevada, providing electricity to 2.4 million electric customers. The Nevada Mining Association, mining a better future for Nevada. And University Medical Center of Southern Nevada, offering the highest level of care in Nevada. Welcome to the Winnemucca Big R. Hi, I'm John Walker. Welcome to Big R Love Lock. Hi, I'm Rich Martin. Welcome to Fallon Big R. My name is Braden. Welcome to Big R Friendly. Hi, I'm Kelly. Welcome to Big R Sparks. Party bosses. Big donors. And special interests. Are spreading lies about question three. Why? Why? Because the insiders want to keep making sure their hand-picked candidates are the only ones who can win. Nevada's closed primary is working great for them. But, but not, not for us. us. So this year, let's take our power back with question three. Opening Nevada's primary. To give every registered voter a voice. If you're frustrated with the state of our politics, vote, vote yes, yes on question, question three. three. Here on 7 at 7, we're bringing you the local headlines in just seven minutes. We've got you covered in the morning, evening, and for all breaking news in between and as it happens. Life is busy and we don't waste your time. Join us for local news now streaming on our YouTube page. It happens. And when it does, there's UMC Quick Care. This is Nevada Newsmakers with host Sam Shad, a no-holds-barred political forum. Now, from the Nevada Newsmakers broadcast headquarters, here is Sam Shad. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, coming to you from the Ahern Hotel in Las Vegas. George Harris joins us, chairman of Nevadans for Sound Government. It's a pleasure to have you here, sir. Sam, thank you so much again for having me on. Well, it's always a pleasure. And today was really a special day for the Ahern because you had the speaker of the United States House of Representatives in the building doing a fundraiser, correct? For Mike Johnson was here for John Lee. It was okay. fantastic. So let me ask you this. What did you learn from Mike Johnson you didn't know before? Uh, he's a phenomenally nice guy. He's five foot five. I, I thought he was Hello. six foot four. <laughs> I know. Uh, very, very, uh, you know, at the round table, he gave an insight on FISA because one of the people were angry that he voted. He was a tie-breaking vote. Um, without giving any intelligence away, he explained the reason why we have to have FISA. And actually, I, I agree. Um, listen, if someone's overseas and, and, and they're, they're on the terrorist watch list and they email you and they say, hey, drop this off, this off to here and here, you have to have the ability to be able to look at your emails to see if you guys are planning anything. And it would be nonsensical to say, oh, you have to wait two weeks to get a warrant before you can look at those emails. Okay, but the FISA court is supervised by a federal judge. It's supervised by a federal judge. And they put a bunch of new, uh, uh, new things in there. Like if, if an FBI agent violates it, he goes to jail for 10 years. So it's, it's a totally different thing now. Um, did he talk about um, his bipartisan role in getting the budget uh, uh, to move forward? Um, I would figure that he got, a, you know, quite a bit of pushback from members of his caucus. Well, he did. And he said, listen, I need workhorses in the Congress. I have enough show ponies. I need workhorses. So that should answer your question. <laughs> That's an interesting statement. But, but does it bode well for the future to see other things that are done in a bipartisan fashion where so much over the last couple of years has not been in a bipartisan fashion? Well, look, both sides, there has, to, there has to be a, there's always compromise. The best business deal you can make is when everybody leaves the table pissed off. Right. That's the best business deal. 
And we have to get back to that, which means there's going to have to be some adult supervision. The D's have got to flush a bunch of their crazies, and we've got to flush people that just aren't, aren't. We've got to get away from this. They're only concerned about their own power. Because unfortunately, I, I, that's what I see on the D side. Democrats in the neighborhoods, who are all my friends, by the way, they're really good people. Democrats that are elected care about one thing, and that's their power. And it's time we flush those people down the toilet. Okay, but I mean, you know, a, a Democrat would come on the program and say the exact opposite and talk about, you know, that they have Republican friends, but the crazies on the Republican side need to be flushed out as well. I, I agree. If, if, if I, I agree crazies on both sides need to be flushed down the toilet. We've got to get back to adult supervision. We've got to run the country. We've got to act in a business manner. We've got to act with respect and civility. You can't yell at going to a restaurant and yell at people. You know, the, the, the left has been very good. They figured out a way to do what they're doing. It's called intimidation. And the, the Republicans are too meek. Republicans got to stand up and grow a pair of conus. And they've got to stand up and they've got to they've got to punch these guys back in the face. Because if you could just stop. Okay, but that's not no, no, civil. That, yes, it is. You, because you, if you, you mean, could, I presume you, you mean you that. You cannot that, have civility if one side will not. But participate you, but in you civility. you mean that metaphorically, correct? Metaphorically, of course. Not me. If it was, look, if someone came and screamed in my face, it would not be good for them. Okay, but, but you know, one of, one of the problems that we're facing in our country, and we're seeing it around the world, is this lack of civility and inability for people to actually discuss things with each other. And this is right. the opposite of what you were talking about. Right, right. because a it's, a mental, it's, it's a mental thing that has taken place in, in the era of social media. People, social media actually changed your brainwaves, if you believe it. People get on that stuff and they just sit and watch and watch and watch, and then they get angry, and they're now keyboard warriors, and they're making statements they would never make public. I agree with you, Tony. Okay, and then that has, that has manifested into five, six, eight years later, now they're in public saying things that they would have never said. So we've got to get back to a, a, a place where, where you know, people act with a little more decorum. Well, and like I said, you know, it was uh, interesting to see that the continuing resolution was passed by the Speaker with the help of the Democrats, and, and his own caucus was not 100% behind him. And, and I think that's a good thing. And I think that Speaker Johnson is a good face for the Republican Party. Well, Speaker Johnson, look, he's, he's a no-nonsense guy. He's a workhorse. He's, he's a business guy. And look, you have to go out there and you have to run the country and you have to, and you have to make decisions. Look, I, I, there's some of my Republican friends who I love dearly. You know, you can't, if, if you move one thing off of what they want to do, they just freeze up and they quit talking. That doesn't help anything either. You know, sometimes, look, I, you know with me, I take beatings all the time. But that's what you do. You take a beating. You know, being the chairman of Adams for Sound Government and standing up and saying, listen, what the legislature's doing with this taxation package is stupid. And then they get all their left friends on the media just to tear me up and I'm a racist. I'm, you know, it's repugnant. First of all, I'm not a racist, okay? But I understand the ramifications when, when you put so much pressure on people, the gas tax, property tax, okay, all these different so, things. So let me ask you this. You know, there has been so much about democracy. And from my perspective, actually, I think democracy is doing really well because everybody's involved in, quotes, democracy at this point. And yet we have made, not we, but people are terrified that their votes don't count. Uh, okay, I'm first of all, democracy, I, democracy is fine. I agree. And, but, but we don't live in a democracy. We live in a republic. Yes, but, democ but democracy is fine. But it's a term of phrase. But, but the term of phrase is, you're right, a lot of people don't think their vote counts. But that's why I and Dave Gibbs started this initiative for voter identification. I agree. And, and you know what? We, as you know, we had Dave on the show a couple of weeks ago. Very good. He did a terrific job. And I made the point of a time that I can go both ways with this. I am comfortable with the system we have, but it seems absurd to me but, that, Sam, but hang on, hang on, let me finish. But it seems absurd to me that, that anything you want to do, you have to show ID. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get in, for example, to a political event, you have to show ID. Yeah, but Sam, you say you're comfortable, but you're not. And yeah, I'm, I am. No, you're not, because you don't have all the facts. 
What? This is the problem with you, Sam. You run your mouth without the facts. Here's the facts. <laughs> the facts are right now, there's in the state of Nevada, there's over, over even today after they purged all the files, there's still 60,000 plus people on the active voter file who, if you do a, a national change of address thing, they've moved out. They're not here anymore. They should be taken off the active role and put on. Now, let me I'm finish. Let me finish. I'm not Let me finish. But here's what happens. Okay. Sam lives in his house with his wife and two kids. There's four ballots that go to the house. He moves out of his house and moves to a different state. I move in with four people. He's still on the active voter file. I get eight ballots to that house. Sam, I'm sorry, it's human nature. Eight ballots come to your house. Most of the people are gonna vote all eight ballots. No, they're but not. With, yes, yes, they are, Sam. Because, At, Sam, you're wrong. Okay. But now let me finish, let me finish my point. With voter ID, if you go in person, you have to show your ID. If you mail in by ballot, you have to put your last four of your social or your last four of your driver's license in a, in, a, in a box on the ballot. That way they know it's you. If you've moved to Texas and someone tries to vote your ballots, they don't have that information. Okay. That's why it's so important, Sam. I'm not arguing. There, I just showed I, you something. And I will show you something else. Oh, stop. Which is, there is not a giant conspiracy of every sheriff, every DA, every police officer, every what are you judge what are you to about? say that there, there is no problem when there is a problem. As far as I'm Sam, concerned, Sam, stop, there, quit. There, You're acting like a child. There's been a problem with. People I am a child. People Dave, have cheated. they people have cheated for years, Sam, and they're going to cheat. I'm not. This. I'm not what saying we nobody need ever to do cheated. is compact it's it not, and, and eliminate as much as we can. It is not as big a problem as has been made out. You have signature verification. There are not people that are out there. Sam, have you, are you living on a different planet? No, I'm living of on this planet. Of course, it's a humongous problem because. The, the machines, if the machines are not set right, they just spit the ballots through and signature oh, okay. verification becomes a joke. Okay, so let me ask you this. So every Republican that's been elected, it was fraudulent? No, and, and every Democrat that elected wasn't fraudulent. Well then, and I, okay, and, and Sam, you, you just you, made my case. Oh, no, Sam, I'm not, look, first of all, everybody tells me, oh, you know, they stole the vote, they did that and the other thing. I said, okay, well, they did that. Let's say they did that. That means you'd have to have a conspiracy. Sam, that's what I brought people up. People in government can't keep their mouths shut. Agreed. You and so, Harry Reid so, agree so on they that can't. totally. Okay, first of all, Harry Reid's never agreed with anything. No, no, he said that on this show. Well, because we asked him, believe it or not, because you were involved in this, we were talking about aliens. Uh -huh. Okay, and he said, I because I asked him, were there aliens out at uh, you know uh, what is it uh, Area, 51. Area 51, and he said no, and I said. How do you know? He said, nobody in government could ever keep that a and, secret. And Sam, that's true, with the exception of those people that work in Area 51. <laughs> they don't say nothing to nobody. Okay. So, well, but, but my point is- And there was, are little green men, Sam. If you think we're the Harry only would, species on this universe, you're living on a different planet. Okay, Mrs. Shad watches ancient aliens all the time. Okay. I'm not going to argue about that either. And my daughter loves what you've done out there in eastern Nevada. Yes. Okay, let's take a break. We'll come back, and we do have other topics to talk about. Well, that's nice. And it is balanced. And yes, I am a child, and I intend to remain that way until I well, die a very old man. Your wife told me you were a 14 year old in a man's body. <laughs> we'll be out. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> They want us to believe we only have two options. That's just not working anymore. I've never been a follower. I'm a businessman and entrepreneur. I'm ready to forge a new path to secure our future. One that keeps Northern Nevada free, fair, and wild. A path that means freedom for all, including affordable housing. I'm Greg Kidd, and I approve this message because I'm not from either political party. I'm for Nevada. The Nevada Builders Alliance has been protecting the interests of the construction industry for over 50 years. Our programs save members thousands of dollars every year and allow them to provide much needed benefits to their employees. Our industry also allows Nevada to grow. If you're thinking about a career in the construction industry, reach out. And if you haven't thought of a career in construction, what are you waiting for? We are the Nevada Builders Alliance. What do you count on? You count on your power every day. At NV Energy, we've always powered what's important to you, but we're not looking at the past. We're focused on the future. While our standards are high, our rates will remain low. 
And our commitment to renewables isn't just meeting standards, but leading the way. Because you can count on more than just your power. You can count on the company who brings it to you. That's our promise. You can count on it. Early in the morning or throughout the night, professional truck drivers are on the job, serving you. Safely moving freight that's crucial to our economy. From the oldest industries to our newest innovators. From the exotic to the everyday. Trucks are everywhere, moving everything. Never afraid to embrace a future that makes Nevada and our nation stronger. Trucking moves America forward. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation and discussion with my good friend, and he really is, George Harris is chairman of Nevadans for Sound Government. The one thing we didn't get to um, was to ask about the John Lee Stephen Horsford race. Um, you know, there was an article recently that said that, uh, you know, if Stephen Horsford feels that he's not going to win this race as chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus, there will be a lot of money that will come into the state to back him up. Um, you know, Mayor Lee did a wonderful job as mayor of North Las Vegas. Is it enough to ace out the chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus? Yes, because no one understands what the chairman of the Black Caucus is. That's one. Uh, two, it's a racist organization because there's five Republic or four Republican, uh, there's Republican senators and Republican congressmen that they won't allow to be in the Black, black Caucus. Who are African American? Who are African American? Tim Scott. He asked you, though, I want to join. No, we're not letting you join because it's a Democrat caucus. That's all. All it's right. Well, not, that doesn't make it racist. That makes it, it, it political. No, it makes it racist. Okay? No, no. Every time I turn around, someone calls me a racist. I'm going to call someone else a racist. OK, that's it. Moving along. OK, Let's, yeah. Okay, may, may I state for the record? Yes. I've known you a very long time. Yeah. Over 20 years. You are not a racist. I, I, I know that. <laughs> and you're not anti-Semitic either. Um, let me ask you about uh, the Jackie Rose and Sam Brown race. Um, are you supporting Sam Brown in this? A hundred percent by my silence. By your silence? Yes. What does that mean? It's exactly what I said. I'm supporting him a hundred percent by my silence. Um, Go look at Dave Chappelle's show when he talks about Jesse Small A, and you'll you'll understand what I what I what I mean. Okay. Do you think that uh, Sam Brown is going to win? Because the polling does not look good for him at this it, point. The polling's not good for him. And, and unfortunately, I don't think Sam's, I think the president is going to win. I think Trump's going to win the state by two and a half to three points. And unfortunately, I think Sam's going to lose uh, by almost the same margin that, uh, uh, that Adam Laxalt lost by. Because you, if you're going to rob a bank, you got to rob the bank that has the money in it, Okay. And all the money is here in Las Vegas. This is where all the votes are. You should live down here. You should have ended up buying a house down here, renting a house, and just stay here the whole time. Because the folks in northern Nevada are going to vote for him no matter what. Okay? They're going to vote for him no matter what. It's the people down here that he's got to get. Okay. I, I, I don't think that that is accurate. I mean, the How's number... It not there, accurate, sir? Then the, 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 There is a slim Republican lead in Washoe County. Um, it is not huge. Now, in the rest of, in rural Nevada, yes, I think that he's got that sewn up. But Sam, you don't spend 90% of your time in Reno, Nevada. Y you got to be in Las Vegas 90% of the time. Let me ask you. You absolutely have to be down what here. What do you think about, neither of these have done interviews with the press. To my knowledge, there is no debate on the books. What you know, even Harry Reid debated Sharon Angle only Look, one it, time. It, I, it doesn't matter. It's all nonsense. Her, her commercials are nonsense. Um, Sam, Sam's gonna gonna put you in jail if you haven't. That's the most nonsensical thing I've ever heard. Okay. And by the way, let's talk about abortion for a second. Abortion was settled in the state of Nevada yes. 35 years ago. Correct. It's in the Constitution. No one can change it. You can change it if you go out and you get 250,000 signatures, which. Jackie Rosen, Stephen Horsford, uh, Dina Titus, and uh, uh, Susie Lee all got together and gave a ton of money to these people to collect the signatures. And now on the ballot question, because they've got all the ladies so petrified that someone's going to take their rights away and they're all going to vote for it, they've taken away parental notification and you can have an abortion up to nine months. Not, not, not if there's, not, not because of, 
risk or health to the mother. It's just, you can have, if you decide you want an abortion in nine months, you can have an abortion in nine months. And I don't know anybody, if they actually read, if they read the language, I don't know anybody that agrees with that. I think that that's the most repugnant thing I've ever seen in my life. And they, and they ought to be ashamed of themselves. Okay, and, and you're entitled to your opinion. Um, Sam, but, my, but, opinion but, but, my opinion is what, but, I don't, Sam, I, I, I speak for at least 98% of the people in the state. No one believes having an abortion at nine months is palatable. It's absolutely repugnant and disgusting. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not gonna argue with you about this. I'm Thank gonna agree with you that it's in the Constitution and this has just become a totally political issue and there's no argument about that. Right. So, you know, you're, you're airing one side of the political issue, they're airing the other no, side I, of the I, political issue. Sam, what I'm airing, what I'm airing is, is the righteousness <laughs> of, of, of people. It's not funny, Sam. Tim, Sam, could you believe that someone would think that it's acceptable to abort a child at nine months? And Sam, that's the that's what they have written into this new initiative. I have not read. Well, you need to read. I, You're supposed I, to be the big time, the big time uh, guy on TV. What? <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> Came but out I, wrong. What, I, yeah, you sure know. did. What I'm saying is, we're going to take a break. We'll come back <laughs> more with George Harris after this timeout. Pro Group Management offers workers' comp services to a growing number of industries. As businesses grow and change with the times, the need for a solid workers' comp program must be flexible and up-to-date. The evolving nature of regulations can make staying ahead of complex tasks challenging. But Pro Group Management simplifies the work so your industry can move forward and succeed. Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. Like a traditional handmade basket, retail is woven into the fabric of life in Nevada. From big box to mom and pop, retail supports our communities in countless ways. Jobs for the disabled, team uniforms for kids, help for the elderly, and so much more. Retail employs over 1 in 10 workers. Retail supports Nevada, and we support retail. R-A-N-N-V dot org. When Roe vs. Wade was overturned, I couldn't believe it. 50 years of progress gone in an instant. Now I hear Sam Brown was chairman of a group that fought to ban abortion with no exceptions, even for rape or incest. And Sam Brown supports a law that would allow Nevada to prosecute women who have an abortion. Prosecute women who have an abortion. It's no surprise that Sam Brown wants to hide his extreme views. But we know. We know. We know he's not for us. Wynn Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. It happens. And when it does, there's UMC Quick Care. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with the very combative today, I'm George not Harris. I just, I'm just, very, I'm Nevadans very passionate. for sound government. P passionate, that's the word. Uh, Mark Amaday and Greg Kidd, have you been following this race? It, that's a, what a tough race. Oof, oof. It's like when I talk to Mark, I said, Mark, are you kidding me? Mark's going to, like, I, I make a prediction. Mark wins, Mark wins by 89%. Come on. Next. We're having the debate on the show. That's fine. We're going to do a, a two-show debate. Yeah, well, wait, wait, wait. How is his opponent going to say, well, of course I live in San Francisco. I just decided I'd come down here and run against you. Move on to something that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so we're, you know, you're a former military guy. Yes. And we're looking at an incredible outbreak of war in the Middle East. Yes. Um, and Jackie Rosen said on this program several years ago, um, because of the Ukraine war, that the military spending to replace all the weapons and equipment that was, was all backstopped by the Congress. Do you have any idea of how much money we're gonna end up, you know, having to put out oh, to replace uh, all the, because essentially- two, 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 and, two and a half to three trillion dollars, but that's not the point. The, the point is, is that this administration, the Biden administration under, under Kamala Harris has tried to intervene themselves into military tactics, which is very dangerous. Listen. Where, where do you get that? Where do I get that? Yeah. They're, they're saying that we're not going to give money to Israel. We're not going to give weapons to Israel. They've got Macron saying, ship no ammunition to Israel. Yeah. Macron, okay. Ma Macron no, Macron is doing that on behest of the Biden-Harris administration. 
Macron doesn't have a brain in his are, head. Are you not giving way too much credit to the vice president? Because vice presidents... I'm only, I'm only repeating what she says. I'm in the room as the door shuts. I'm the last person there on all the big decisions. If you're going to talk like that, then you have to take the good with the bad. It's very... Listen, I think strategically it would be smart if, if, uh, if Israel crippled Iran's nuclear program because all this stuff would stop. Don't you, don't you think that that's actually what's going to happen here? Because it, I don't think, Sam. You, I, have, I have enough friends in enough places that I believe in the, next, in the next 15 to 20 days that they will cripple, with, with or without their ally support, Israel will cripple the nuclear uh, threat that, that Iran poses. I, I would totally agree with you. Hey, you know, you've had a really good shot on the show today. You have done very well. You have attacked me in multiple ways. Oh, I but love you. You have Sam. done it in such a nice way. Sam, I love you. I and bad. this is a great show. And listen, we need we need to have shows like this on television where it's not all one sided, because unfortunately today the media is. I, and I don't know why they're acting like this. Uh, money. The, you, that, that's how they're making money. You know, George, we're, we're out of time. I do love you. Thank you for and, having me. And no, it's always a pleasure. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Bless you. And we'll be right back. As you know, Reno is booming. Toll's development company is helping it grow with insightful design and development, building community with every project, adding beauty, adding excitement, emphasizing our shared humanity. Reno is becoming bigger. Toll's development is helping it become better, more livable, more enjoyable. To learn more, go to tollsdevelopment.com, tollsdevelopment.com. Story County is leading Nevada, home of the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center, Google, Tesla, Panasonic, and other world-leading companies. Story County provides thousands of tech, advanced manufacturing, and logistics careers for Nevadans. We're diversifying and driving Nevada's economy and generating millions in tax revenue and billions in economic activity across northern Nevada. Story County is leading Nevada's future. Imagine a magical garden that feeds Carson City's hungry and homeless, teaches our high school students agriculture, creates hanging floral displays to beautify downtown, and yet charges nothing. It's not magic. It's the Greenhouse Project. It's real, it's growing, and it needs your help. Go online to carsoncitygreenhouse.org so together we can grow it forward. Nevada Newsmakers Goes to Washington is brought to you by Pro Group Management, Workers' Comp that works for you. NV Energy. NV Energy proudly serves Nevada, providing electricity to 2.4 million electric customers. The Nevada Mining Association, mining a better future for Nevada. And University Medical Center of Southern Nevada, offering the highest level of care in Nevada. Thanks for watching. Nevada Newsmakers come to you from Las Vegas. Our thanks to the Ahern Hotel for accommodating us. We'll see you on the next broadcast.